الحلال من الرزق الحلال وأن تؤمنني من الخوف مواقف الخوف بأمنك Hassan Iskandar comes every day to the Imam Ali Mosque of the Brazilian city of Curitiba to pray the Duhur, one of the five daily prayers prescribed in Islam. Hassan is a Shiite Muslim who was born in Lebanon, but for the last 50 years has lived in Curitiba. Like other cities in Latin America, Curitiba hosts an Arab population of mixed religious composition. Along with other migrant communities, Arab Muslims and Christians contribute to the social fabric of the city. The presence of Arab Muslims from the Middle East and Latin America can be traced back to the large transatlantic migrations that took place at the end of the 19th century. At that time, Brazil and Argentina were the countries in Latin America that received the largest numbers of Arab immigrants. Religiously, they, there was a, a high suspicion about their religious life. I mean, the, their oriental version of Christianity was not recognized as normal Christianity in a deeply Catholic society. And in the case of the Muslims, it was even worse because you had all the orientalist stereotypes about uh, Muslim uh, fatalist culture, uh, fanaticism, and all that. Already in the 20s and the 30s, you had all these stereotypes moving around. Like other European populations, Arabs from the Middle East left their homelands in search of a better future. Arab Christians and Muslims of all sectarian groupings came to Latin America as citizens of the Ottoman Empire. Nos dicen turcos porque nuestros abuelos venían con pasaporte del Imperio Otomano. Entonces por eso nos decían turcos. No nos cae demasiado bien, pero sabemos que lo dicen cariñosamente nuestros amigos y en cierta manera es un un sello distintivo que este sabemos que no lo dicen para ofender, sino como una cuestión de cariño. As Muslim migrants settled down in Latin America, they became part of the economic and social life of their new homelands. In an effort to preserve some of their cultural and religious identity, early on some Muslim Arabs formed religious and cultural associations that would serve as spaces of socialization. The idea was to keep Arab Muslim identity uh, alive into the, into the community and of course pass it through to, to the future generations. And that's and that will mark the institutional life of Islam in Brazil. It has a strong link with this uh, idea of cultural heritage. That, therefore, you have a strong association between Islam and Arab ethnic identity. Today, Muslim associations in Latin America strive to maintain their Arab Muslim identity while fostering their heritage among new generations. Os antigos nos deixaram um legado vasto mesquitas, sociedades muçulmanas, enfim, toda uma, uma estrutura. E cabe a nós, desta geração, continuarmos esse legado e melhorarmos esse legado. Não apenas administrá-lo, mas sim né, é, trabalhar da melhor forma possível e principalmente fazer entender ao ocidental que o Islã é uma religião possível e factível de ser seguida. In addition to the prayer services, Many Arab Muslim associations have established schools for children and courses for adults where they learn Arabic. Some have also formed centers where people socialize and learn about Islam, among other activities. But keeping the flame alive takes many individual efforts. Only after many hours of volunteer work and fundraising efforts, the members of the Islamic Center in Argentina gathered the money to enlarge their mosque. Gracias a Dios esta obra fue magnífica. Para nosotros es un orgullo porque con toda la plata, poquita plata que tenemos, con el trabajo que tenemos y porque cada uno de nosotros está ocupado en su trabajo y, y bueno, y dedicamos un poquito más a esto. Lo hace, lo hace con ganas. Me levanto de las 7 de la mañana hasta las 10 de la noche, 11 de la noche nos llevo a mi casa. Y todo el día así, pero uno lo hace, lo hace con ganas, porque trabajas, trabajas bien y después en lo que haces eso por la colectividad, por el Islam, es algo que nos orgullece. Realmente estamos 
muy contento y muy feliz.